Previously on Master Chef Junior. Down! Out! 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 Oh, oh, you're f pathetic. Bison's penis. What is that? Sh you f donkey. That is absolute dog. Shit. This is f***ing painful. What is that? Erotic.com. Hey, uh, the new Halo series. Yay! Video game. <laughs> Well, they focused on Asian girl with bad haircut. I agree with yeah. you on and that haircut just looks awful. It's like, hey, let's make this pretty girl as ugly as possible. Oh, but, another one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think she's only meant to be 16 in the show, but still, it's just like, why try and make your actors as ugly as possible? I mean, this is an angry feminist rant, but let's just, I'll just read it out. Paramount Plus revealed the teaser trailer for the upcoming Halo live action series, and it looks like the show is getting the Star Wars reboot makeover with a cast of powerful women, female protagonist and villain. So what will Master Chief's role be? Um, probably to hold her hair as she's sick. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's bait and switch. That so, sounds really exciting. <laughs> Yay. And the guy um, who got to play Master Chief is uh, Lee Schreiber's brother. He's a really good fucking actor, too. He's Pablo, Pablo Schreiber, and he was in American Gods. He was good in that. He's a good actor. He's looking up. Uh, you may have noticed that Master Chief had a small role in the Halo live action trailer. And that's because he's reportedly just a supporting character. Steven Spielberg's Halo live action series looks awesome. It looks shit. When it comes to visual effects, the team behind the highly anticipated Paramount Plus original show did a phenomenal job, but some fans are concerned that the writers got a bit too creative with the show. This isn't going to be on the main timeline. This is going to be what they're calling the silver timeline or something. Yep. Yep. So according to them, they don't tread on the uh, the story, the original story of Halo. And what the truth really is, is, allows them to tell their stories. Sounds a bit like using the platform for our messages, but there you go. Uh, Master Chef does not appear in uh, to be the main protagonist in the Halo live action series, but instead a minority space orphan named Quan R, played by Australia's very own up-and-coming talent, Yeren Ha. Quan R is oh, described God. as a shrewd, audacious 16-year-old from the outer colonies. She's a bit of a space scavenger. Wasn't that what Ray was, a, a scavenger? Yeah. 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 And has an incredible power inside of her. Oh. oh, which will slowly, which will, which she will slowly discover throughout the series. Sound familiar? Sources close to the production revealed to us that Master Chi uh, Chef, sorry, will serve as her supporting character, and that Quan R, the kick, I think that's meant to be kick ass, sixteen-year-old warrior girl, will be the main protagonist in Steven Spielberg's Halo live-action series. Producers also promise a very diverse cast of characters Yay. played from people from all walks of life. However, Yay. slightly more female than fans might have expected. Yay. Um, her shoulders don't come out far enough to be in that suit. Is it a robotic suit? Yeah, it's not a robotic no, suit. It's no, it's, it's a... like a huge it's... bulking armor on top. Yeah. Okay. Her shoulders like don't come out past the... I was just her her the shoulders trailer. are here. Yeah, her shoulders are right there. That's where like, her shoulders are in yeah. reality. But she's a Spartan, so she's been it looks like a, enhanced. It, was it uh, the Husbands of River song? That, that giant robot that had the... Oh, with the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Uh, not only is the main protagonist a 16-year-old Asian girl at last, but two of the three Spartans are also described to be kick-ass female soldiers. Kai125, played by Kate Kennedy... And Riz028, played by Natasha Kolzak. So this is kind of weird because they're like literally taking um, like the Star Wars, Disney Star Wars blueprint of like the Daisy Ridley, like Ray line. And then they're like also Rose Tico-ing the Asian girl. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Why would you take the blueprint of something that is completely just garbage? Paramount Plus is, uh, well, it's CBS. So it's like one of the wokest places around. Like it's as woke, if not more woke than Disney. They make That's Star Trek Discovery. They make yeah. and Picard, Picard, which is just absolute garbage. Like they're really good at the procedural, boring ass cookie cutter TV stuff that 75 year olds watch. So they're like trying to outdo yeah. Disney with the woke trash. Oh, okay. Paramount use IPs as a platform for their messages. Yeah, they said yeah. it. They said it themselves. Mm -hmm.
the goal is not really to promote Star Trek, but to promote these organizations and to use our platform to be able to bring greater awareness to these very, very important uh, well, messages and places. Yes, D Disney said the same thing. So they're using- Which is like, exactly the what they've said for this as well with the yeah. timeline. Uh, the producers decided to take it even one step further and kick the so-called patriarchy in the balls. <sighs> by having Maki, a female antagonist, reportedly easily defeat MasterChef in a battle. It will be up to Quan Ah to save MasterChef's life and defeat Maki and save the world. Well, they literally said in the trailer, find the halo, win the war. And I just thought, save the cheerleader, save the yeah. world. Little is known about this powerful new Halo live action female antagonist slash villain known as Maki. Apart she... from the fact that she is played by Charlie Murphy from Peaky Blinders. Is she? Okay, so this character is not in the game? No, this is all set before Halo 1. Of course it is. So there is some oh, characters which no. are going to... So, oh, God, it's going to be the girl who's the key to everything that shapes master the Master Chief yeah. that we know now. It'll be the 16-year-old girl who's his mentor, basically. It'll fucking... They, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, fucking hate prequels, man. Oh, <laughs> Spielberg's Halo live-action series. What, no, Spielberg's got fuck all today. Yeah, he, he put his name on it. I think yeah, he, he put his name on it. On it. Uh, set to premiere March 24th. That's not a natural blonde. Look at those eyebrows. I know. <laughs> those <laughs> drapes and those curtains are not matching the carpets. Come on. No. See, this is what happens when your wife is a hairstylist. You know uh -huh. all the shit. Do. Yeah, Gary, you big nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Hairdressing nerd. Powerful female that needs to act like a man. There's yeah. a lot of them. Oh, dear God. I mean, that face, it's just like, that is that is the face of the last fucking five years, isn't it? Oh. Jesus Christ. Is it any wonder men aren't fucking getting with women anymore? Jeez, what's the point? There's, uh, there's strong women speaking to another strong women. Okay, as a person who's never played the game, it just looks generic. It looks oh, like... it looks very yeah. generic. It does. The games are much better looking than this, to be completely honest. He's got handles right there on his chest so you can pick up. Well, he's it. having a shit and all the, the women are just, you know, dying their hair. <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe. If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. And if you did this with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.